So the previous examples that we've had with integration by substitution have been ones that we'd be able to use reversing the chain rule on. And we went through those first in order to get the process into our heads. We're now going to look at three examples where you probably wouldn't be able to guess what the answer is going to be very easily. Okay? So this first one maybe you would be, but we're going to have a go at it anyway to show you the process. So we've got the integral of x, 2x squared plus 3 to the power of 5 dx. We've got the substitution, u is equal to 2x squared plus 3. So we find du by dx first, and always first. So that's 4x. And so, if I then rearrange this to get dx equals, then dx will be 1 over 4x du. So I now have a substitution for dx. So what I'm going to find is I've got the integral of x, because I don't have a substitution for that yet, but I do have a substitution for the 2x squared plus 3, so I've got a u to the 5, and then dx was 1 over 4x du. Now, what we have here is something that some maths teachers aren't going to particularly like, okay? So, mainly because, well, really because I've got x's and u's in the same integral. I personally don't mind it because I think it shows exactly where the cancellation occurs. Because here you can see that we have an x and a 1 over x and they will cancel each other out. Okay, leaving me with one quarter, which I can pull outside the integral, u to the 5 du. So, some maths teachers don't like that, some like it, okay? Um, if yours doesn't like uh, doing that, then I can't really help, okay? <laughs> but you might still want to try this method out. So, we've got one quarter integral of u to the 5 du. So then I can integrate that, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. So I've got 1 over 24, u to the 6 plus c. And I don't want to leave it like that, so I bring back the u, so the 2x squared plus 3, all to the power of 6 plus c. And that is my final answer for that one. Okay? Now let's have a look at the second one. We have u is equal to 3x plus 4, so du by dx would be equal to 3, so dx must be equal to 1 third du. Okay, so I've got a replacement for dx. Now, the problem here is that when I substitute these in, I have this 3x minus 1, which I don't currently have a replacement for, I've got the 3x plus 4, which is u, so the u to the 6, and the dx is 1 third du. Now the problem here is that there's not any cancellation here with the 3x minus 1. So I need to find something that will substitute it. Now, if u is equal to 3x plus 4, then if I subtract 5 from both sides so that... I then end up with 3x minus 1. That means that I can replace the 3x minus 1 with u minus 5. So I can get rid of that and write u minus 5 instead. So with this integral, I can pull the third out the front. And then I'm going to multiply out these brackets, u minus 5 times u to the 6, which is u to the 7, take away 5, u to the 6. So then I can integrate. So I'm going to add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, take away 5, u to the 7 over 7, plus c. And then I want to um, substitute in my u, the 3x plus 4. So I've got 1 over 24, 3x plus 4 to the power of 8, 
take away 5 sevenths times 3, so 5 over 21, 3x plus 4 to the power of 7 plus c. And that would be my final answer with that one. So the technique that was different and new to us there was this bit in red. Okay, So it's all about getting that 3x minus 1. What would I have to make u to get there? So I knew that I could see, look at that, and go, right, I need to subtract 5 from both sides to get the 3x minus 1. So I'd have u minus 5. Now, with that answer, you could potentially be asked to factorise this, but at this stage I'm going to leave it where it is. Let's look at the third and final one. The integral sine cubed 2x cos 2x dx, where u is sine 2x. So... Same process each time, find the u by dx. So that would be 2 cos 2x. So dx is 1 over 2 cos 2x du. So I've got sine cubed 2x, which is u cubed. I've got cos 2x and dx replaced with 1 over 2 cos 2x du. Now the cos 2x that's there cancels with the cos 2x that's there. So that, that's good. The half can come out the front of the integral. So I now have 1 half Integral of u cubed du, so that's 1 half times u to the 4 over 4 plus c, so that's 1 eighth, and u to the 4, well that's sine to the 4, 2x, and I've got that plus c, constant of integration. And that's how we do the final, the final question there.